Hey guys, today I'm filming my makeup inventory for 2022. Very excited about this. I will tell you, it's a long process for me to film and edit, but I love the finished results. I actually like watching these to remind myself how my collection has changed. I've been doing these since 2015. I will have them all linked down below and I do six month updates because my collection changes so much throughout the year based on panning and decluttering and of course purchasing new things. And the way I like to film these is showing you all of the products and instead of naming each individual thing, I'm just gonna be letting you know how those categories have changed in the past six months. So letting you know the things I used up, decluttered and brought into my life. Hopefully you guys are okay with it that way. I love seeing products. I don't just want to hear about numbers. I like seeing pictures as well, but because of the way I do mine, they're a little bit longer. So hopefully you guys are okay with it. This is definitely my preferred way to do it personally. So hopefully you guys like it as well. And I do actually have a makeup inventory spreadsheet on my computer. I made it years ago. So it's been very easy for me to keep up with. And it was easy for me to start because I've been on YouTube for so long that everything I have, I've hauled on my channel. So if you haven't done that, I know it can be like a little bit challenging at the beginning. If you do it like I do it, which is I categorize the products by product type and then from oldest to newest. And I just have like the name of the product and when I acquired it, but you could definitely add a column on there for shelf life and you know, when you acquired it, when you opened it, whatever, however you want to. It was a template created by Meg's Makeup 8. I will have it linked for you guys. Super simple, but very effective. I have used that template for a lot of things. Also last year, I decided to change the way that I did my goals. Previously, I just had this like ideal goal that I was very far from. So it was a little discouraging. So I decided to give myself goals of where I wanted to be at the end of the year. And that was a lot more achievable. I hit it in some places, didn't in others. So I let you guys know if I met my goal or not and then what my goal is going to be for the end of 2022. So hopefully you guys find this interesting. I have a huge collection. It is what it is. I like to purchase new things even though I'm a project panner. I know some panners are on no buys or on low buys or whatever. And I'm not, I just kind of get whatever I want and still like to pan things. And I like to declutter things I'm no longer in love with. I've come across more people in my life that are open to receiving the things, which is so awesome. It makes it so much easier to declutter products that way. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. For face primer, I currently have 14. In July, I had 16, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is very exciting. I decluttered the Cover FX Mattifying Primer, the Pure Cosmetics Anti Acne Primer, and the Urban Decay All Nighter. I used up the Hourglass Veil, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. The new ones I've gotten would be the One Size Secure the Blur the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, Vesca Soft Sun Radiant Skin and Sunrise, and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 product. And my goal was to be at 15 by the end of the year, and I did reach that goal, which is fantastic. And my new goal for the end of 2022 is to get my numbers down to 10, which I think is totally possible. I do plan on panning these two and these three this year. So we'll see if I do use up all five, that would put me at nine, but I'm sure that I will get another primer somewhere. Next we have foundations. I currently have 13 in July, I had 12. So my numbers have gone up in this category, unfortunately. So I did declutter the First Aid Beauty Tint and Moisturizer and I used up the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage but the new ones I've gotten would be the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, Lawless Conceal the Deal, and the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint. The Clinique was an Ulta free gift and the Fenty was a gift from a friend. So the fact that I only purchased one foundation in the past six months, I feel pretty good about that. And my goal was to be down to 10 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, that did not happen. 
but I'm gonna leave that same goal for the end of 2022. I am hoping to use up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Tarte Face Tape this year because they're my two oldest and we'll see how I feel about the Clinique and how the color match works for me. But everything else I really like and want to keep and I know that there are a couple other foundations I want to try this year so it might go up but I'm gonna stick to my goal of just having 10 foundations. For concealer, I currently have six. In July, I had eight, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is exciting. I used up four in the past six months. The Becca Under Eye Corrector, ColourPop No Filter in the white shade, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting, and the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. The new ones I've gotten would be the NYX Born to Glow, which was a gift from a friend. And then the Kylie Skin was a free gift from Ulta. So the NYX is in my current winter project pan. The Kylie is something that is in my chopping block. So we'll see what happens there. My goal was to be down to five by the end of the year. And unfortunately that did not happen. Very close though. And I'm gonna keep that same goal for the end of 2022, but we'll see because there are a few concealers that I want to test out. For face powder, I currently have eight. In July, I had 10, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is very exciting. I did use up the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and I decluttered the Pure Powder Foundation. That was awful. And everything else is the same. And my goal was to get down to eight by the end of the year. And I did meet that goal, which is super exciting. And I am actually going to just leave that goal for the end of 2022 as well, because I do plan on panning my two powder foundations, but I want to try the one from e.l.f. I really want the Kosas Cloud Set powder so I can see my two press powders changing this year. So I'm just gonna keep it at the eight. I Next we have my cream cheek products and this has changed a lot. The products have changed a lot and also unfortunately my number went up. So I currently have 18 in July, I had 13. I decluttered the Milk Makeup Cream Blush in work, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and I used up the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. And unfortunately I had to throw out the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick cause it smelled and it broke from the base. I was going to pan that this year, but now that hoe is into trash. So the new things I've gotten would be the M Cosmetic Serum Blush, the Jaclyn Cream Blush Stick, the Beauty Counter Cream Blush, the Tarte Cream Blush and Peach Sunset came in a Sephora Favorites Kit. The Anastasia Cream Bronzer I got in PR. The Iconic London Liquid Bronzer came in that same Sephora kit. I purchased a mini Tarte Seychelles Cream Bronzer. I got the Persona Cream Bronzer Stick from the BoxyCharm pop-up shop for a really good price. The Little Illamasqua Liquid Highlight came free from a subscription box that I got in PR. So woof a lot of changes also that beauty counter cream blush i wanted to give away and the m cosmetics serum blush was like super sale from the boxycharm facebook group so i don't feel bad about what i brought in again I, I got a lot of things in a kit free really discounted so i don't feel bad about that my goal was to get to 14 by the end of the year that did not happen i was like oh i want four bronzer products and 10 blush products uh we're not there so my goal for next year i think i'm just gonna have it be 15. so that would mean i would need to get my numbers down by three and i do think it's possible depending on panning and decluttering for bronzer i currently have 13 in july i had 12 so my numbers have gone up in this category just by one so i did declutter the milani matte baked bronzer in sunset and the ofra samantha march bronzer but the new ones i've gotten would be a becca in bali sands which is the lightest shade i got that from tj maxx 
the Nabla bronzer I got half off from Ulta and then the Vesca bronzer I got for a really good price as well. The Vesca and the Nabla were in my 2021 Best of Beauty so I'm super happy about that purchase. And my goal was to be down to 12 and I am not there but the Marc Jacobs, the Becca Bali Sands, and the Juvia's Place are in my chopping block, but I'd be really happy getting down to 12. I know that's still a lot, but I could use one every month of the year. Next for my contour powders, I currently have three. In July, I had four, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is exciting. And I did end up decluttering the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sienna. It's just a little dark and red for me. And actually the others are in my chopping block for this year because I don't know if I specifically need a bronzing powder. I have been enjoying just using my regular bronzers and applying a bit more product in the hollows of my cheeks with a different brush. So it's possible I might only have one or none by the end of 2022, but uh, we'll see. So next we have blushes. I currently have 53. In July I had 66 so my numbers have gone down by 13 which is insane. These are the new blushes I've gotten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in six months. That's a lot. So I've got the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Blush in Love Language, M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow in Venetian Rose and Magic Hour. I have the Pat McGrath blush in Nude Venus, the Nabla blushes in Truth, Independence, and Lola, Pure Cosmetics Pretty in Peach, Buxom Seychelles, Alati London Ombre blush in the shade Haze, Persona Caramel, the Huda Beauty Glowish in Caring Coral, this beauty counter blush in melon and this little Laura Mercier rose blush. And Jacqueline, I got super sale from Morphe. The M Cosmetics I got for Black Friday on sale 25% off. Pat McGrath was a gift for Christmas. Nabla were half off at Ulta. Pure was PR. Buxom was with my Ulta points. Lottie London was free in a subscription box from PR. Persona was with my Ulta points. Huda Glowish, I got only 20% off during the VIB sale. Beauty Counter, I purchased just to support a friend. And the Laura Mercier, I got as an Ulta free gift. So I don't feel bad about bringing in this mini because of the way that I acquired them. And I do actually have these two here are going to be on my chopping block. And then I did just get rid of a lot of chopping block blushes, which you'll see soon, but just to show you the other ones that I have, this Juvia's Place Blush Duo, MAC Blushes and Peaches, and Peach Twist, this Lorac Blush in Spectra, and then these two Limited Edition ColourPop Blushes. Those are the ones in my chopping block right now, but I am so happy with this, and my goal was to be down to 60 by the end of the year, and I'm at 53, but I'm gonna leave that goal as is because I know there are more blushes that I want. For highlighter, I currently have 26. In July, I had 24, so my numbers have gone up in this category, which is not great. And I decluttered only two the ColourPop Cinderella Horse and Carriage and the Balm Mary Illuminizer. The new ones I've gotten would be this bottom row here. So Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone, which is the lightest shade. This Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlight in OMG. It looks like that. The M Cosmetic Sunscape Highlight in Clarity and the Vesca highlight in Moonlight. And then I also have Ofra Beverly Hills and Ofra All of the Lights, which I took out of a face and eye palette. So that is how my numbers have gone up. But the All of the Lights from Ofra, I got that palette in a really good sale. This was a free gift. Vesca I got 
for a super good price from BoxyCharm pop-up. M Cosmetics 25% off for Black Friday. Illamasqua was PR. Nabla was half off at Ulsa. So again, I'm happy with the way that they came into my collection. And also I did want to show you this. My Ofra highlights, except for the Milk and Cookies by Steph Toms, I have put into these ColourPop palettes. So we have Glazed Donut, Cloud Nine, Pillow Talk, and Space Baby. Then my other palette has Star Island Moon Dance, which was limited edition, all of the lights. And then I'm going to depot Beverly Hills to put it in there as well. So my goal was to be down to 12 by the end of the year. I knew that what wasn't going to happen, but 26 is a lot still. So ugh, I would like to get down to 24. That's two a month, but I really don't know what I would get rid of. I really like everything that I have. For face palettes, I currently have 25. In July, I had 20. So my numbers have gone up in this category. Unfortunately, there've been a lot of changes. I did declutter the Too Faced Sugar Peach, the Pixie Sheer Sunshine Bronzer Highlight Palette, Benefit Cheek Leaders, the Ofra Madison Miller Cheek Trio, and the Laura Mercier Blush Palette. The new ones I have would be those for ColourPop Quads, Sigma Glow Kissed Highlight Palette, the Sigma Berry Glow Cheek Duo, Hourglass Holiday, Pat McGrath Holiday, Jaclyn Cosmetics Holiday, and then this Becca Highlight and blush bronzer palette. So the ColourPop ones, they're gonna be in my chopping block. I kind of regret buying them even though they were a good deal. Sigma, both of them were PR. Hourglass I got for Christmas, as well as the Pat McGrath, and the Becca I got for a great price in a declutter, and then the Jaclyn Cosmetics was a really great price from the Morphe website as well. So again, except for the ColourPop, I'm happy with the things that I brought in and the way they entered my life. I'm going to make my goal still be that 20. I really love my face palettes, but there are some of these that I can let go of. I'm sure I'm gonna want more face palettes this year. Part of me wants to say 25. For setting spray, I currently have 13. In July, I had 10, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I did use up the MAC Fix Plus Matte, MAC Fix Plus Coconut, and a little mini MAC Fix Plus, but I did have a backup of that. And the new ones I've gotten would be the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte that I got with my Ulta points. The Benefit Professional Super Setter I bought half off during Black Friday. The Charlotte Tilbury came in a kit, and the NYX and the Ofra were Ulta freebies. And my goal was to be down to 10 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, that did not happen, but I'm going to keep that goal for end of 2022. Definitely think it's possible. I am working on some of these this year. You can see I really mostly have full sizes left or travel sizes that are very large. I don't have a bunch of mini, so it's gonna take me a little longer to get through. Then we have brows and for brow wax, I currently have two. In July, I had one. I usually just have that one from NYX, but I did get that Patrick Ta Soap Brows Delio in a kit and I really just have not tried it very much. So I definitely need to play with that and see if I wanna to try to finish it or, you know, pass it on. Then for brow pencil, I currently have two pencils and two markers, but I'm just gonna put them in the same category for the sake of it. So I still have four brow pencils then, but I did use up the Urban Decay Brow Blade and the Hourglass Micro Arch Pencil, so happy with that and then I did get those two brow pins the Anastasia was a gift and then the Benefit micro filling pin I got half off at Ulta brow pomade I still just have the one Cabral from Benefit I really need to make myself use that before it dries up then for brow powder I have my Lorac take a brow kit in blonde and it's something that I'm currently trying to use up as a hairline powder because I'm just not using actual brow powder on my brows and then for brow gel I currently have two in July I had three so my numbers did go down by one which is exciting I did use up that milk kush brow gel so 
I'm happy with my brow category. I don't think I have too, too much here. For eye primer, I currently have three. In July, I had four, so my numbers did go down. I used up the full size Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging, which I didn't really love. The other three have stayed the same and I really only need one or two in this category. For Cream Shadow Sticks, I currently have 20. In July, I had 17, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I actually thought it would be higher because I've gotten the entire Laura Mercier Rose Glow Collection, which were six shades, and my numbers only went up by three. So that's not bad. I know that I decluttered Mystic Gold from Laura Mercier, Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze, and Pinch Hitter from The Balm. I decluttered the three of those, and I used up Laura Mercier Intense Moonlight. And then the other new one that I've gotten besides the Rose Glow Collection would be the shade Orchid from Laura Mercier. So I think those are the changes. And my goal was to have 15 shadow sticks. I currently have 20. I'm gonna say 20, which I know is crazy, but you guys know I love my shadow stick. So here are my liquid shadows. The KVD Dazzle stick I had in the same spot in my organizer as these, but I do think that actually fits better in the shadow stick category. So I don't wanna refilm that part, but I'm gonna change my numbers. So now I have 21 shadow sticks. And for liquid shadows, then I have eight. And in July, I had seven, so my numbers did go up in this category, which is a bummer. I did declutter one, the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner in volume, I believe. So I'm going to move this uh, KVD. Also, I don't know why it's in the box. I've used it. But the new ones that I've gotten would be this Danessa Myricks in Cupcake. I got this as a gift. And then I did purchase the Vesca Beauty moonlit dream because i was buying all the rest of their products so i figured i would buy one of those to try out as well my goal for the end of 2021 was to get down to seven i did not meet that goal but for 2022 i actually think my goal is going to be to get down to five i did not use any of these last year which is a shame so i'm going to put them in my chopping block and see if i want to keep them so here are my single shadows uh, not good. I currently have 44. In July, I had 38. So my numbers have gone up by six. And that's because I got a lot for Black Friday and Christmas. So I did declutter three shades of the Hourglass Scattered Lights, two Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadows, a MAC Extra Dimension, and two of the Kaja Bento boxes. But the new ones I've gotten would be all six of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Shimmer Top Coats. I also have this Buxom Eyeshadow. So I had one of their palettes and I kept just one shade. So that's here now. I have this sample shadow from Natasha Denona. This is from the Retro Palette. I have the full size, but I couldn't help myself. I had to have that. It's just so cute. Then I got this Bobbi Brown in PR from Look Fantastic for Christmas. I got these two Auric duos. And then I did get two of the M Cosmetics cream shadows. So those are my new ones. And these ones right here, these six plus this one are chopping block shadows. And then everything else. I really want to keep. So my goal is to be down to 35 by the end of the year. Obviously I didn't make that goal and I'm going to change my goal to be 40. So I would just need to get down by four. So if I get rid of even half of the things on my chopping block, then I will be down to that number. But I just am a sucker for shadow pots. So then we have my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I currently have eight in July. I had 15. So I just about cut this in half, which is super exciting. None of these are new. I just kept the five newest ones to me, which are the ones in the special packaging, and then three of my favorite shades that haven't completely dried up, Tinsel, 8-Track, and White Rabbit. And my goal was to be at 15 by the end of the year. You can see that I have surpassed that. I'm now at 8, 
and I'm fine with that. I will even make this goal to be 10 max in case there's any other shades I want. I've kind of gone back and forth between wanting to try more and then being like done with the formulas. For small palettes, I currently have 27 and in July I had 32. So my numbers did go down, which is surprising to me. And I've gotten some new ones since then, actually several new ones, but I guess I did get rid of a lot. So I got rid of Huda Beauty, Coral Obsessions, Neon Pink, Neon Orange, Pastel Mint, and then Doso Colors, Marvelous Mobs, Blushing Berries, Sassy Sienna's Baked Browns, my Buxom Custom Palette. Now I just have that one single. Doso Colors Cutting Edge, Urban Decay Naked Heat Petite, Ofra Sweet Dreams, and Juvia's Place Blush Rose. And the new ones I've gotten would be Mini Nude and Mini Metropolis from Natasha Denona, as well as the Juvia's Place Rebel Mint Squad, the M Cosmetics and Faded Clementine Venetian Rose, ColourPop Aries Quad, and the Makeup by Mario Quad, and Sigma Magnifique Palette. And my goal was to get down to 25. Not there, I was close at 27. I'm gonna change my goal to be to 30. I'd be okay with, I just really like mini palettes and yeah, I got a few more, a few more on my wish list. Then for large palettes, I currently have 58. In July, I had 66 and so my numbers have gone down, which is so crazy considering that I have 15 new palettes here since last time, but I did put a lot of things in my cell pile. Like I said, I have brought 15 new palettes in to my life. Again, I got some of these Black Friday, Cyber Monday, some for Christmas, and look at this stack of Natasha Denona. I went from having none of the large palettes to now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. So about half of the 15 palettes I got in the past six months were Natasha Denona big ones. So anyway, let me show you what we've got. So this is Kaleidos Sashimi City. We have Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. Gotta be careful with this one. Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics. It's freaking bats. It's still in the box. Then we've got Odin's Eye and Judy, the Red Dragon palette. This one is still in the sleeve as well. Then we have the Sydney Grace and Tim Talia on the Horizon Light palette. I've already used this one and love it. Then Huda Beauty Rose Quartz, Pat McGrath Mothership Celestial Divinity palette, and then the Glam Light Michaela collab. So really like most of these over here are collab palettes and some indie brands, so that's super exciting. So then for Natasha Denona, gold, 20% off. Sunset, 50% off. Bronze, 20. Sunrise, 50. Glam Face Palette and the light, even though it is a face palette because there's more shadows than face products, I put it in the eyeshadow category. Retro Palette, 20% off. Love Palette, 50% off, so. I am not mad at this whatsoever and I'm so surprised that my number is actually lower than last time and my goal was to get down to 50. I am not there yet and I actually don't really think that's going to happen. I'm probably going to get even more palettes. So I'm going to change my goal to actually be 60. Next for liquid liners, I currently have three in July. I had four, so my numbers have gone down, which is great. I did use up the Milani Stay Put Matte Liner in a brown shade in the Tarte Man Eater in black. And now I have the Physicians Formula Waterproof Eye Booster. And then the KVD Tattoo Liner in black and brown. I got those from Influencer, which is the best Influencer box I've probably ever received. So very happy with this category. I definitely want to stick to a goal of just two, like a black and a brown is really all I need. So I'm close to that. And I like hardly ever buy liquid liner, although I am interested in that new L'Oreal one that has like that built-in guide for 
join a wing. For pencil liners, I currently have 17. In July, I had 14. So my numbers have gone up in this category. So I did declutter two, but I brought in five. The two I declutter would be a black from Ip Cosmetics and NARS. The five new ones I have would be a Persona Bronze, this Jade from Maybelline, and then these three from ColourPop. My goal was to remain at that 14. So my new goal for 2022 is to get down to 15. I do have two in my chopping block right now. So if I did pass on those that I would have that 15 if I don't get any more. I do have a couple liners on my wish list. For gel liners, I had two. Still have the same two from Dose of Colors. I'm going to keep these for forever and probably not get any, any other gel liners because I never use these. For mascara, I currently have 25. In July, I had 22. So my numbers have gone up in this category. I did declutter the full-size Lorac Holy Lash, Laura Mercier Caviar Volume, and Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I did use up a full-size It Cosmetics Superhero and then a mini Ilia Limitless Lash and Tarte Surfer Curl. The new ones I've gotten, full-size would be the Sheer Minerals, which I got for Christmas, and then the Rimmel Lash Accelerator I got for like a dollar for some crazy Walgreens sale. Then for my new minis, Anastasia Lash Brag, I'm using these two right now. And then Urban K Lash Freak MAC magic extension maybelline falsies lash lift the benefit they're real magnet and the hourglass caution mascara the rest of these i think i had last time my goal would be to get down to 15 that means i would have to cut it by 10 i don't really think that's going to happen because i really do want to try so many of these so i'm going to change my goal to 20 i think that's more achievable for me and again I only open like two at a time but yeah it's gonna take me a while to get through what I've got. Now for lip products for lip care I currently have 12 in July I had 11 so my numbers have gone up in this category and there have been a lot of changes so I did declutter the Primera lip mask and the ColourPop tinted lip balm from the Candyland collection and I used up one of the lemongrass spa lip scrubs but then i got another one for christmas i used up the nars afterglow lip balm in laguna the wander beauty lip retreat oil and skinny dip and a mini jack black intense therapy lip balm and then i did have the rare beauty dewy lip balm in here but it actually is so pigmented i've moved this to my lipstick category so i did adjust my numbers from last update to accurately reflect the category the product is in now if that makes sense. And then for the new things, that little mini Kosa Sport lip balm, I got that as a coupon code from Sephora. I got the full size Jack Black Intense Therapy lip balm with my Alta Points Jack Black Night Mode lip treatment, which is newer. I got that 20% off from Alta, I think. Then the little mini Clarins was a Alta free gift. And then I got the Belief Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask and the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Peppermint during the Sephora 20% off sale. And my goal for the end of 2021 was to be down to 10. I did not quite make it. I, of course, have plans to work through some of these this year, but it's very possible that, you know, I will have new things to try as well. Next, we have lip liners. I currently have 21. In July, I had 19, so my numbers have gone up in this category, unfortunately, but not too bad. So for the changes, I did declutter one of the Kylie's, the Real Her, the NARS, and the Buxom. And the new ones I have would be ColourPop Good and Plenty, which I love. These two from Persona that I love, Dominique Cosmetics, Buxom, and this is actually like a mini size I got from Ulta as a freebie, and then one from Jacqueline Cosmetics. And I got the Persona on a good deal, Dominique Cosmetics I got from the Boxy Charm pop-up shop for $3. So I am not mad at my numbers. My goal for the end of 2021 was to get down to 15. And 
you know, that really wasn't very realistic. So I'm actually going to change my goal to be down to 20 by the end of 2022, which is totally possible. Next we have bullet lipsticks. I currently have 28 in July. I had 25. So my numbers have gone up in this category unfortunately but I tried a lot of tinted lip balms last year and I put those in the lipstick category so that's really why my numbers went up but I did declutter some I decluttered one from Colored Rain, Kylie, Maybelline, Milk Makeup, some from MAC but the new ones I have would be these two Buxom Powerful Plump Lip Balms those have a lot of color this Beauty Counter Lipstick I have a Persona Tinted Lip Balm, Illamasqua Hydra Lip Tint. Previously, I just had the one MAC Glow Play Lip Balm. Now I have two more. I have my three Buxom Lipstick. So my goal was to get down to 24 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, that did not happen. I am going to keep that same goal, but the reason I originally picked that is because there are 24 spots in this lipstick holder, but the Natasha Denona and the Buxom lip products are too big to fit, but I'm still going to leave it at that number. For ColourPop lippy sticks, I currently have zero. In July, I had two. I had Cami and another color that is a escaping me but I have decluttered the both of them and they're good products especially that matte x formula but I just don't feel like having that product in my collection anymore so that category is out of here for jumbo lip crayons I currently have six in July I had five so my numbers have gone up in this category and I did use up the Sephora Melty Lip Click and I decluttered the ColourPop Just a Tint and Gimme S'more and then my Tarte Exposed I actually got rid of and repurchased it in the newer formula and then I also got two more of the M Cosmetics lip cushions and then I do have that Maybelline Ulta Matte Lipstick. I originally have always thought about that just like a regular lipstick but when I saw that it was the same length as M Cosmetics I'm like no that that's going to be a jumbo lip crayon type of product so my goal was to be to five by the end of the year. I'm at six. I'm totally okay with that. I'm going to make my goal just to, to stay at this six, but I will tell you M Cosmetics just released a new collection that had two lip cushions in them, in them, in the collection, and they look really pretty. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this for right now. For liquid lipstick, I currently have 38. In July, I had 45, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is very exciting, but it's all been, because of decluttering. So for the things that have left, it would be Jeffree Star Sagittarius, my Jaclyn Cosmetics, 3CE, Cover Effects, my Two Little Mini Rare Beauties, Too Many Jouer, Too Many Kat Von D's. The new ones I've gotten would be this Persona in OG, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Last First Kiss, and this Dose of Colors Velvet Lip in Donald Duck. My goal for the end of the year was to have 24 full sizes and 12 minis. I did not quite hit that. I'm under my mini goal. I actually only have nine minis, but I have more than 24 full sizes, but that's okay. My numbers did go down a lot, which makes me feel great. And I actually still want to keep the same goal. I want to still just have 24. So here's my worst category. These are my lip glosses. I currently have 55. In July I had 42 so I've gone up a lot and there were a lot of formulas I wanted to try. A lot of liquid lip balms like just a lot. Let's see if I can even keep up with the ways that this has changed. I got rid of a few ColourPop shades and uh, I used up the Grande Cosmetics lip gloss, the Rare Beauty liquid lip balm, decluttered a nude sticks, decluttered a Oma by Sharon C, Minty Cosmetics Tarte, and Wet n Wild. I also decluttered I think two Buxom shades and the new things I've gotten would be a lot of what you see here. So this Beauty Counter Stone from Maybelline, 
this Ilia, this Fit Glow Beauty, and Beauty Project, Jack and Cosmetics. All of these here. So this is a mini from Kaja, a mini trio from Kosas and Lawless. Over here we've got three from Tower 28, two from Persona. This Vesca is new. Morphe, Juvia's Place, these two Fit Glows, and this Milani one. And yeah, some of these things I got on super sale. Some things were free gifts, coupon codes. So like it's overwhelming. It's a lot. I'm happy with what I have, but at the same time, like it's too much. It's too much. And my goal was to be down to 40 by the end of the year, which huh, did not happen. So I'm actually going to change my goal to be down to 50. <sighs> Isn't that ridiculous? 50 by the end of the year. And I do have some products in my chopping block. I do have several glosses that I'm wanting to pan this year. That is like the only lip product I'm going to work on would be lip glosses and lip balms. So we will see about that. And I'm sure I'm going to want to try new things as well. So my goal is going to be 50. So guys, that was my makeup inventory for January 2022. I know some categories were bad, but some other categories I feel pretty good about, but I would love to hear your numbers in the comments down below. I'm very nosy. I love these videos and I just love knowing what people have. So please share with me in the comments. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.